This just in. Bigfoot is real. This just in. There are now eight days in a week. This just in. Cats cure cancer. Ever watch the news and wonder how some stories make the headlines, but other stories, it seems, aren't even covered at all? How about reading the newspaper and seeing some stories on the front page and other stories are buried deep in a different section? What about presidential elections? Have you ever noticed that some candidates seem to get a lot more coverage than others? Well, there's a reason for that. And it's a lot more complex than you'd think. It's a phenomenon that has a deep-rooted history. But in 1972, an article was published by researchers Max McCoon and Donald Shaw, and they called it agenda-setting theory. McCombs and Shaw's research studied the 1968 presidential election. Specifically, they were looking for two things, awareness and information. They observed messages that the mass media put out about certain voting issues. Then they studied how the community reacted to them. Unsurprisingly, they found that the more talked about issues were the ones that voters thought were more important. Agenda setting theory has two core assumptions. One. The mass media has the ability to mold their messages to elicit a certain reaction from their audience. This can even be to the point where their message doesn't reflect reality. Two, mass media, by simply reporting about something more frequently, can lead us to believe that certain stories or issues are more important than others. Now, agenda setting theory is an often studied theory, and many other researchers have had their input in on it as well. Two influential scholars, Everett Rogers and James Deering, in 1988 developed the following model. It's become the most prevalent model to discuss agenda setting theory. As you'll see here, there are three types of agendas involved, and they're all interrelated. In this, we see that the media agenda, the message the media wants to get across, can be affected by policies or even politicians. The public agenda here, that is, the ideas that the public holds, are affected by the media. And in a phenomenon known as agenda building, policies are affected both by the media and by the public agendas. But wait, there's more to the model. These aren't the only things that influence what we find to be important. Up top, we see that our personal experiences affect our opinions of things. But with this, it's important to note that our personal experiences aren't the only influences. Down bottom, we also see that reality is an influencer, but again, not the only influencer. And that can be scary, to know that when we form opinions, we're influenced by things that we haven't experienced and things that aren't even based in reality. And all this starts with these guys over here the gatekeepers and influencers, who, without them, we might not even know an issue exists. Yes, that's a lot to take in, but I'll synthesize it for you. Basically, when we form an opinion on something, what steps happen? Well, first, we must know about the issue. That's where the gatekeepers come in. Once we know that the issue exists, each of these groups have their own personal experiences and realities to help set their agendas. However, these groups are also affected by the other groups. So when a politician sets an agenda, it's influenced by their personal experience, reality, the public opinion, and how the media frames the issue. So why is this important? Well, in politics, you can't always please everyone. And it's often the case that these different agendas are at odds with each other. It's not uncommon that a politician needs to make a decision in order to please the public, but will give them bad press in the media. And as the model shows, that bad press in the media could eventually lead to changing the public's opinion. There are two other terms that you need to know in agenda setting theory, priming and framing. These two terms are associated with how the media portrays certain issues. Priming. 
also referred to as accessibility, is the idea that the more importance that the media places on an issue, the more the public perceives it as such. Framing refers to how the media selects certain issues and presents them to the public in an effort to manipulate the information and influence the public opinion. So why does this all matter? Well, that's easy. By reporting about things more often or in certain ways, news media can actually affect our feelings on certain issues. And these feelings can in turn lead to actual changes that we make in the way that we go about doing things. And considering the amount of people that some of these news sources reach out to, that can be a lot of power. Agenda setting theory can help us as consumers, voters, and just people in general. If we're able to recognize when someone's setting an agenda, it helps us to make more informed choices about the things that we do.